Hello everyone, it's Marielle here from SerpWiz, the number one lead generation tool for agencies looking to give white-labeled automated SEO reports. And today, we're going to show you guys how you can start better using SEO ranking to start implementing better SEO analysis on your own website or brand. Right now, we're just on the project page and we're here because in a previous video, we were going over the different steps on how to create a project on SEO ranking. Right now, we're gonna go through the fifth step, which is how to add competitors to your project. So here, we're just on the first page, let's just head over to the competitors section. Okay, so here, as you can see on the page itself, you can add up to five competitors to a project and track their ranking position changes. That way, you'll be able to know the results of their promotional activities and compare them with that of your site. Now, this is really important because you obviously want to keep a constant eye on your competition, seeing as it's just as important as regularly monitoring your own website. You see that your competitors' rankings are basically starting to jump or drop. You can analyze the data to find out what causes and maybe implement that information to better promote your site. So in this case, we're going to go over a few methods on how to add your competitors here that you want to add to your overall analysis of the project. One way to first do it is to do so manually. So you can actually select this box over here. As you can see, it'll turn into a text box where you can actually start adding their URLs into this list. So let's just type one in really quickly. One that I'm gonna type in here is just semrush.com. So as you can see, it types in like a regular text box and if you press enter, it'll then become its own website, which you can then research this domain. You can delete it and you can also edit it in case, let's say you mistyped it. Another way to add competitors, let's say if you don't know how or have any on hand or if you don't know any of your competitors that well, you can actually head over to the bottom right of this page where you see the button called suggest competitors. Beside this little light bulb, if you click this, you'll immediately be given a list of competitors that are using similar keywords to yours that SE ranking has found through their own analysis. Something to take note of, however, is that it also depends on what country you're in. So if you're to choose, let's say the UK, your list of domain competitors will be different from, let's say, so here we have Clutch, WebFX, Neil Patel, Gov UK. It'll be different from the USA version of competitors. So here you can see I added SEMrush, which is on our US competitor suggestion, but not on our UK one. So let's add one for the UK. So I'm gonna show you how to add it. If you hover your mouse over it, you're gonna see that the button on the right side will be will read out add. All you have to do is click it to add it. So I'm gonna add this one and maybe Gov UK and Thrive Agency. So now we have four competitors added in, which means SE ranking will now be able to track these competitors in comparison to your project and their own rankings for the same keywords. Something to take note of in this page lastly is that you can actually include subdomains. So according to SE ranking, this option allows you to include for checking competitors subdomains if this option is disabled, the system won't be checking the subdomain pages of your competitors. So this could be really interesting to add in, but just take note, it does take up more space and it may take up more time when it comes to analyzing multiple competitors, seeing as you'd have to check the subdomains of each and every single competitor you add on here. Since you only have four, I think this is pretty good. Okay, so once you're happy with this, you just have to hit the green button, add competitors, which will finalize the competitors being added. As you can see here on the right hand side, upper right corner, you'll see that you'll get a notification reading out that your four competitors have been added and will now be part of your project analysis. And also be listed down here just in case you want to delete, edit, or even research the domains even further. And that's all I really have to say about this. Hopefully this helps you better manage any sort of SEO analysis you might be doing with your own brands or websites. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to SE ranking, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.